Hey there, Virgo. Good afternoon and welcome to your February 2021 tarot reading. Welcome to Tree of Life Tarot. My name is Kerry. I'm excited to be here to connect with Virgos today and to talk about your February forecast. We just want to see what the energies look like ahead of you. So I'm going to share this with you with all of you Virgos because I know Virgo energy can appreciate this. You know, it would be fun. You know, it's kind of a light thinking way of thinking, you know, to just think it just come out and shuffle the deck a few times and pull a, pull the tarot energies and glance at them and read them and then turn on the camera and share it with Virgo. If it was just that simple and that easy, I, I that isn't my process. I'm sharing this with Virgo because I think Virgo can appreciate it. But I really invest a lot of time and a lot of energy into each of the Zodiac readings, even in the daily love readings. I'm not just randomly pulling the cards and glancing at them and, you know, feeling what they're, what they're saying and sharing it. But just me, my style, I'm trying to create deep, meaningful uh, tarot readings for each of the zodiac signs. So I'm taking the time to pull the energies. I go over the astrological forecast. It gives me a chance to feel exactly what's going on with your zodiac energy. And I pull the tarot energies, and it's just kind of fascinating, at least this month in February. I, and, it, and it could be happening this month because for each of the zodiac signs, there's so much planetary activity into one specific house of theirs. But what I'm seeing is I'm seeing these same energies manifest here in the tarot readings. So, And it could just be February, right? But it, it's been fantastic. Um, so anyways... Um, Virgo, it's great to be here with you. Uh, you'll be happy to know before I even turned on the camera, I went in and I cleaned the kitchen and did the dishes and cleaned the, the counters and went and made the bed, tidied up the entire apartment, which normally I don't do, but I think I was just picking up and connecting with that Virgo energy because that's a very Virgo-like thing to do. And I'm sharing all this with you, Virgos, because I know you appreciate it. Okay, Virgo. I'm so excited that you're here. You know, the fact that you're here tells me that you appreciate the time and energy that I'm investing in these tarot readings for you guys. I'm trying to bring you the most valuable, meaningful messages that 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 are available for, to you. Always trying to create the best possible outcome for each of the zodiac signs. And I just work with the energies that come out with you for you. Uh, so, anyways, I'm very excited to be here, and I'm very excited to share your tarot reading with you. But uh, to begin with, whether your sun sign is Virgo or your moon or rising sign is Virgo, or you could just be here checking up on a Virgo, or you may just be intuitively guided to be here. And I love to hear that and know when that's happening, you know, because I operate in my life that way. I try to follow my intuition all the time. I follow tarot readings, and many times I'll click on I'll click on readings that really have nothing to do with me necessarily with my sign and, and energies, but it's a feeling that I get. I trust those feelings. So I'm grateful that you're here. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Hope you enjoy my energy and my style of reading. The beautiful information that we're going to share with Virgo energy today. Uh, or if you're a returning subscriber, I know we have a lot of Virgo soul family members that have subscribed. It's great to connect with each and every one of you here in this tarot reading today. I hope that the energies and the messages here in today's tarot reading will resonate. <laughs> to be honest, I, I believe that they will. Because I'm seeing such a connection between the strong planetary energies in the houses taking place for you in February and specifically how it's manifesting here in your tarot reading. So and honestly, it's the kind of it's the kind of reading it's like I don't necessarily have Virgo, you know, in any big areas necessarily in my chart, but I resonate with this reading because it, it makes sense to me. It feels right. You know, it's something that I think almost all of us could use in our life in terms of the energies and the messages that are coming out for you in your reading. But Virgo, I'm going to go through in the, to begin with and share with you your astrological forecast for the month of February. So we look at February and we just look at the planets and we see which planets are going to be moving into which houses specifically for Virgo energy. So this applies with your sun, moon, or rising sign, but I need to emphasize there's an emphasis with your rising sign energy with the astrological forecast. So uh, I'm going to provide that to you, and that's going to give us a big picture look energetically at what's taking place for you in February. And I'm, I'm not an astrologer, 
right? But I learn from the professionals. I learn from the astrologers. And I'm just sharing a lot of the wisdom that I've learned from the great astrologers out there and passing it on and sharing it with you. So I'm going to point out these energies and do the best job that I can at kind of describing what these energies may feel like when they hit at different times in the month. And then we're going to do a tarot reading where we're going to hone in. We're going to see how many of these energies manifest more specifically for you in the month of February. So, Virgo, let's get started. Today, by the way, is... Gal, yesterday was Wednesday and I was on my readings all day. I was saying it was Tuesday. I'm pretty sure I did that. So, today is Thursday, uh, January the 28th. Time is... Right, 3 2 1 countdown 3 2 1 it's time for us to start 3 21 p.m okay virgo so the month of february it's a big month a big month for all of the zodiac signs as i mentioned there are several planets in fact i'm just going to get to it specifically for you we have the sun mercury your ruling planet jupiter and saturn they're all positioned in your sixth house that's on the 1st. And then on the 2nd of February, we have the planet Venus, the planet of attraction and love that also moves into the party in your 6th house. And then on the 11th of February, we have a new moon also happening in your 6th house. The 6th six, house is all about you, your physical health, as well as the service that you provide to the world. <clears throat> so I want to point out to you, Virgo, <clears throat> I've learned you also have Saturn square to Uranus in the ninth house. This energy is about you taking your relationship, your responsibilities seriously, meaning doing the things you know you need to do. And it's important to be open to changing things up and doing things differently as well. Breaking yourself from the mold you've already perfected, right? And Virgos are great at perfecting those molds. Patterns over time can sometimes cause us to lose a skip in our step. Think about what changes to your routine could you bring back that would allow you to bring back that skip to your step. It's all about like bringing new energies into your life. Kind of thinking about the energies that just aren't serving you very well, that you could just to be aware of those. And then if you're aware of them, you can remove those energies and it makes space in your life for new energies and changes. So these energies in your sixth house shine a light on your work your daily or your daily routines, how you spend your hours throughout each day. This is a perfect time to evaluate how, how you're choosing to spend your time. This energy is here to help bring some of you better balance with your time as well as with your energy. Are you pushing yourself to continually learn and grow? Are you investing in your education? And the thing that's important, what's important to remember when it comes to education is we don't need to go enroll in a college to get an education. With the with technology and the internet today, I mean, you can literally go to Google and you could do a search and you could pick, think of any subject in the world that you're interested in learning about. And I can almost assure you, you'll find lots of information on that subject, which is just enriching. So... We all have the opportunity to really expand our understandings of all things in life right now. Okay, stop. I'm going to stop tooting here. Here we go. You don't need to be enrolled in college, Gay. Okay? I mentioned that. You can just learn online. Um, are there subjects that you've always wanted to learn and understand more about? Right? And think, go back to the earlier days, the things in your younger days that, that brought you passion and made you excite, excited, that jazzed you up a little bit. And think about those things. They're still there. They exist. You can step right back in and, and reconnect yourself with those energies. And if it brought you joy and excitement back then, there's a good chance it'll revitalize you today. Okay, this is also a time to think about your physical health. So, you know, when was your last physical or checkup? And I, and I never say that, or, but I'm saying that here in Virgo's reading. So there's a reason why I'm saying that for somebody out there. Is there anything that's been bothering you lately? Um, you know, is anything physically that's been bothering you that you've just been aware of? Maybe getting those little nudges, bringing it to your awareness to, hey, maybe you need to get this checked out. And again, I just never really share that kind of information, but I am today. Okay, some of you may find yourselves with opportunities to volunteer and help somebody else out at this time as well. What do you have to share and to give to be able to connect with others? To offer your time and your talents. 
Okay, uh, on the 27th of February, we have a full moon happening in your first house. So again, this is back shining the light on you, Virgo. Uh, so it's shining a light on you, so this is a perfect time to just pamper yourself. Perfect time to do something nice for yourself. You know, yeah, maybe get a massage, uh, manicure, pedicure. Maybe go to the gym or get out, connect with nature. Maybe... Start a fire and cuddle up with a blanket and a book that you've always wanted to read and enjoy that time because it's all about you at the end of February. Actually, it's all about you, Virgo, all throughout February. But specifically, an opportunity to pamper, pamper yourself at the end of February. Okay, so let's get into your tarot reading now. Um, I pulled an energy for you from my uh, Power of Love Activation Energy which I've been doing in February. And I just, I've really enjoyed these energies taking us into your tarot reading. So it kind of gives us an idea of subject matter, what we're talking about, an energy at hand. And here's what comes out for you, Virgo. So we have individuality, right? It's really kind of fascinating. There's something like 8 billion of us here on planet Earth, right? And out of 8 billion of us, there are no two of us that are alike, right? We all have our own unique wiring, our own hardwired DNA, the things that make us you, the things that make you you, who you are. And it's so important in our life that we stay connected to these, these individual energies, right? The individual energies that just make you who you are and give yourself the chance to to express yourself right to be able to express yourself in your own unique individual ways so i wanted to get some clarification and we're going to you know individuality ties right in with with the energies that are showing up here in your tarot reading but i want to get some clarification on individuality and here's what comes up for us i have four energies I kind of you almost need to read them all together. So Virgo, so here we have the death card, right, which is representing an ending. It also represents the energy of Scorpio. Attached to it is the King of Swords, right? So the King of Swords always strikes me as like the energy that this is my truth, right? The King of Swords, he is seeking his truth. He want he wants. Don't give me the drama. Don't give me the fluff. Give me the give me the core. Give me the truth. So we have a truth. That's connected to the death card. So death cards representing something, something coming to an ending. And again, Virgo, keep in mind, it's not a crystal ball. Um, these are just energies that are here and available for Virgo specifically in the month of February. So choice has not been made yet. So we're talking about ending, right, with the death card. And the next energy that came out comes to us as the judgment card. So getting a little further clarification, um, the next energy that came out comes to us as the Four of Wands. So with the Four of Wands energy, um, you know, it represents the energy of marriage, but I feel like it's representing the energy of, of commitment and maybe a commitment to a series of different relationships in our life, right? The relationships in our life that we're truly committed to, relationships where we're spending most of our time. Uh, and this can also include our husband, our wife, spouse, boyfriend, girlfriend. So we have the four of wands so we're talking about individuality and what it's interesting what's coming in is is the relationship energy so and then here with the judgment card showing up as well so what i what i feel like spirit is sharing with you here is i feel like we're, we're talking about our, our individuality those things that just make us who we are right our passions the things that we just love um and how many times in life right you just move along through life, working through life experience, and, and a lot of times, right? We we can we can connect with people, and we can get in we can get in relationships, you know, and it happens to all of us, right? But right now, the light for you, Virgo, is kind of shining on you this month in February. Uh, that these are the energies that are showing up for you. That you know, a lot of times we can get in in relationships, and we can go along with the flow, um, you know, and over time. Little by little, we can become and we can grow to become a little more distanced from our individuality, right? From the things that make you, you, who you are, the things that make you passionate in life, right? 
your hobbies, your interests, the things that make you playful and fun. So a lot of times, you know, when we're in commitments, you know, relationships with others, we can slowly slip away and lose some of our identity, right? And, and Virgo, that, that's what we're talking about today here in your tarot reading. So, and this is, you know, it's attached to the King of Swords, right? So this is, this is a truth. This is, this is a truth, not just for Virgo, but for each of the Zodiac signs. It's for all of us. So the first energy that came out, uh, and, and for your tarot reading, I used my Psychic Tarot of the Heart deck. I pulled three energies there, and then I pulled clarifying energies from my Crystal Vision. So, and it's almost a linear um, process that we're going through. So the first energy that came out for you, Virgo, comes to us as challenging times. So, and why, and why is this energy showing up, right? Because we have all of this planetary energy in your sixth house, sixth house where, where you're focused on you, like where you're spending your time. What am, I, what am I doing with myself every day? And am I doing the kind of things that are me, right? The kind of things that bring me passion and excitement? Or am, have I lost touch with some of these energies and I'm I've maybe fallen into a pattern right this that, that really isn't consistent with a lot of my individuality you know, so this is the challenge right this is challenging times coming up so we're looking for a change because this is this is a number five so this little energetic bubble around his head you know this is I feel like the the enlightenment right this is the light the energy is shining on you you know, were you thinking about these energies? Okay, getting further clarification. Here's what comes out for you. So, and these two energies, I feel like they're talking about this actually, this little ball of energy that's, you know, this enlightenment. I feel like it's enlightenment. You know, it's, it's, it's the awareness of it. You know, the awareness of like, hey, I've lost so much of my individuality here. And this is so normal for each and every one of us. Okay, so here we have the Hierophant energy. And what's attached to it is we have the Four of Cups. So the Four of Cups, this represents the energy of maybe what I'm in. Or it's the energy of boredom, right? So a lot of times when I'm not connected with the things that I'm passionate about that I want to do, it's pretty easy for me, to become, for me to become bored, right? And I can even become somewhat complacent in relationships and a little bit bored there as well. So this is kind of the dilemma. This is the challenge right here. Is I'm in this energy, but here I have the spiritual truth, right? That I can know and feel that I'm, a, that I'm aware of. And that's this energy that's taking place around his head right there. So here we have the, the challenge here. Right? Here's the dilemma. So the next two energies that come in for us, part of the challenge for you, Virgo. Here we have the Five of Cups. And attached to it, we have the Hanged Man energy. Right, so hangman energy showing up right here for you in February because I feel like this will come to the awareness of many of you. And it's gonna cause you to think, right? The energy that's attached to this is the Five of Cups. So Five of Cups kind of brings up this energy of judgment, right? That came out on individuality. That, you know, over time, when, we, when we're going through the day and we're disconnected from like who we truly are, you know, our passions and our interests, it feels somewhat disconnected for us, right? And even though we don't necessarily mean to, you can you can develop grudges, you know. You can you can develop you know some opinions. Um, it just your energy shifts because you you know you're doing things that you're not necessarily passionate about. Maybe just going along with the flow to keep the peace. So this is kind of representing maybe that energy of of you know the resentment. These three cups that are tipped over, right? The focus there has been on maybe these aren't my passions, right? This is why these cups are tipped over. My passions, they're behind me right here, two of cups. And here's the enlightenment taking place. So what do I need to do, right, in order to take the next step from the enlightenment? Virgo, here's what comes out for you. So here we have trust which is representing the energy of the fool. It was kind of fascinating because as I'm laying out the cards, as I'm looking at them from my perspective, this is how I was seeing these two energies come out. 
So I'm in this fool's energy where I've, I've let go of any uh, judgments, right? Any opinions that I've had. This is almost like a, this is almost an energy that takes you back to a younger time, right? It would be nice if we could just snap our fingers, right? And just immediately embrace this energy where we can just let these, you know, some of these opinions and judgments go, maybe even resentments, you know, just resenting the experience. So here she is, she's falling into her world, right? She wants to fall into a, a new world for yourself. What world is she falling into? She's falling into the Virgo world, or she's falling into your world specifically. Pretty fascinating. So notice she's not attached to anything. She's open to everything. So how do we how do we take on this energy? Well, I feel like the first step is our awareness, right? Becoming aware of of our day and our routines and Am I, am I disconnected from my individuality, right? So the first step is to be aware of it. And then it's about taking little steps. So this is, a, this is like a, this is a, a youthful kind of energy. It's, it's representing the energy of stepping into a brand new journey. So how do, we, how do we connect ourselves with this energy? Virgo, I recommend you go back and think about the things that you did in the earlier days, you know, when maybe when you were young, maybe even when you were a kid. And what, what things were you interested in, right? Maybe it was dance, maybe it was maybe it was singing, maybe it was piano, maybe it was painting, maybe it was writing, whatever it was, right? Reconnect yourself with those early passions that you had. And that'll take you your energy back to a younger time. And pretty soon you'll start feeling this energy of adventure, of excitement, because it's like, you know, if you used to paint, maybe you'll pull out the paintbrush, start painting again. It's like, oh my, I just love the way this makes me feel. I love my energy when I, this is so fulfilling. You don't, you have no idea where that's going to take you, but it's exciting. It's thrilling. It's well, where it's taking you for some of you is it's taking you to a whole new world. Right? And what I mean by that is not a whole new planet. Uh, it's literally, you know, changing the energy in your world, specifically when it comes to your daily routine, right? Wherever this is, you know, this, you spend a lot of your time or or the, the individuals that you spend a lot of your time with. Okay, getting further clarification. Here's what comes out for you, Virgo. So here we have the Knight of Swords, right? So... What's the Knight of Swords? It's representing a truth, right? A truth that's coming into me. It can be. It can come in by to by somebody else. I may have somebody, air sign Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. I may have somebody in this energy that right that brings it to my awareness. That can definitely be the case. But I feel for many of you, I feel like this truth just comes in energetically, right? intuitively, if you will, right? That you have this understanding. And why? Because the planets are just they're steering you this way, Virgo. Okay, so I have this truth and I'm wanting to step in and create a different world for myself, right? And Virgo, at the end of the day, you know, we have this life experience and we have the, the beautiful experience to be able to share it with others, right? But when it's all said and done, your life experience is just your life experience, period. It is an individual experience. That's why it's so important to like live your life, your passions. So... And this is the world that you want to create for yourself, many of you. So the next clarifying energies that we have coming out come to us as the Six of Wands, representing, it's a great energy, representing the energy of victory and triumph. So the energy that's attached to it, this comes to us as the Star card, uh, also represents the energy of Aquarius. Standing underneath eight stars, right? I'm moving towards manifesting my hopes and dreams. Virgo, they're your hopes and dreams. This is your individual experience, right? And when you're connected with these energies, you feel like, yes, I am on my journey and I'm taking on the creations and the manifestations and the kind of experiences that I want to create for myself in during this life experience. So I can't feel anything but victorious. And this is all coming from this fool's energy, right, of letting go, forgiving, forgiving others, forgiving yourself, forgiving past experiences, just forgiving circumstances. You have to free yourself from those energies. 
If you don't, you're still attached to them, right? And she's attached to nothing. Okay, Virgo, the next energy that comes in for you. Here we have the beginning. Love abounds. Uh, so Ace of Cups. So here's the start, right? Here's the start, the beginning of, the, of your new world, right? New world in the sense of the energies that I'm feeling and experiencing every day cause me to feel like I'm living a, di you know, it's a different kind of life experience for me. Because maybe it's just one major thing that I'm changing in my daily routine that's absolutely connected to my individuality, but it's my ability to invest my energy in that one thing that changes my perception and experience in all things in my life because I'm connected to my individuality. So I can't help but create and manifest a beautiful beginning. Okay, getting clarification. Here's what comes out for you, Virgo. So here we have the Seven of Swords. All right, so the Seven of Swords represents the energy of kind of going through the motions, right? It's attached to this beginning because I feel like this is the energy that, that you're moving away from. Um, the energy that's attached to this comes to us as the Page of Wands, which is representing communication. Maybe communication coming into you could be attached to this Knight of Swords, right? Bringing this, this truth to you. Uh, but I feel like this can just be energy, right? Bringing this intuitive understanding to you that, hey, I'm going through the motions here. I've lost touch with some of my individuality, my true passions, you know, the things that make me who I am. So here I am, right? I'm communicating differently to myself. It's this communication coming in. So it's, this is what's coming to my awareness. And that's what has to, has to come to my awareness before I can create the beginning. And then the next energies we have for you, Virgo. We have the Three of Cups, which is a beautiful energy. This is friendships, connections, you know. So, yeah, I'm attracting new friendships and new connections, maybe because I'm reconnecting myself with some of my early passions. And maybe because I, I did this, now it's it's got me looking into like organizations and groups about the same passion and interest. This gives me a chance to meet new people, make new friendships, which is fantastic. So it's not a solo journey, but it's an individual journey. And then the energies that come in next for you, Virgo, are the Ten of Wands, which represents, for some of you, being able to, to bring an ending to what feels like it's maybe been a long journey. And it, it's coming in for a reason, because maybe for some of you that are in a Virgo energy, you may, be, you may have been in this energy of feeling somewhat disconnected from who you truly are, like your passions for quite some time. So here's the energy to the opportunity available to end this journey. And it's being clarified again with the Ace of Cups. So again, is there a beautiful beginning that awaits you? Yes, absolutely. So Virgo, at the end of the day, who creates this beginning? You do, right? Okay, I think that's where I'm going to finish this reading here on YouTube. Uh, I'm interested to, I'm very curious to know more about this tarot reading. I want to do a, an extended version of this reading. So for those of you that are interested in learning more about, I want to see what comes next. And I want to ask about a few of the characters here that showed up by way of Zodiac here in your tarot reading. Um so for those of you that are interested in, in following, you can click on the link found below this reading in the description box. It's a Vimeo link, and you can follow me over to Vimeo. I'd love to connect with all of you there. Uh, Virgo, I hope this reading resonated with you. It's definitely a Virgo reading. Um, that's Virgo all over it. And planetarily, it's consistent with all the energies that are taking place for you in February. So... Yeah, I hope this reading resonates and the messages resonate. And I hope you're inspired by it, right? I hope you, you follow the messages and you're able to, to create this beautiful Ace of Cups beginning for yourself. And what's it all about? Your individuality, your beginning, your passions, your interests, the things that, that bring you excitement and joy in life. The ability to reconnect yourself with those energies. It'll give you a chance to live a more fulfilling life.
Okay, Virgo, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for all of you that have chose to follow me over to Patreon and support me on Patreon, as well as those of you that are following over to Vimeo as well. I appreciate your love and support. I wouldn't be here. I couldn't do this without you. So thank you so much. Okay, Virgo, you have an exciting February. Look forward to wishing you all the very best. I'll see the rest of you over here on Vimeo. Thanks.